Sugar Girl planters have been getting the short end of the stick in the industry as traders scrimp in buying local supplies. To address this, the Sugar Regulatory Administration calls on planters to form block farms. Shaila Francisco with the report. Barely 1,300 pesos for every month of grueling hard work. That's basically the profit of Jo Marie, one of the thousands of sugar planters who just received their checks at La Carlota Negros Occidental after putting up their produced sugar for bidding. More than 66,000 pesos of barely 80,000 peso gross sales would go to paying loans he used to produce sugar cane last year. All that would be left as a little over 12,800 pesos for 10 months of work. That's equivalent to a monthly income of 1,200 pesos for a family with four kids and not even enough to buy half a sack of sugar. Masa kami na makabawi kami sa ining taon pero yun lang ang matanggap ko, wala ulang magawa. Hanap naman ulit ng mga utangan para pang Pasko. Lugi ay ano eh, ang produkto. Tapos mababa ang presyo ng kamay, hindi kami makakaraos. Amid the influx of cheaper imports, traders have been buying locally produced sugar at lower prices. During the last bidding, traders bid 200 pesos lower than the floor price or price set by planters. The Sugar Regulatory Administration admits they cannot intervene in marketing and pricing of sugar. However, what they can do is regulate supply and assist in production. This is why the SRA encourages sugar planters to establish block farms. Small planters can group together and form at least a 30-hectare block farm where the SRA can distribute irrigation systems, machineries, as well as fertilizers faster. The problem is um, if hindi sila organized, ibibigay mo, let's say, to an LGU or to a MDDC or any organization, nag-aagawan po yung farmers sa equipment. Pag 30 hectares sila, nakaschedule yan. 1 hectare per day yung gagawin nila, so 30 days, tapos na sila, sariling traktora. Pero pag yung isang traktora isi-share ng sobrang dami, mag-aagawan sila. Jocelle says her family joined the block farm in Negros Occidental in 2017. She says they have since been earning more than 15,000 pesos a month due to lower production costs with assistance from the SRA. Kung individual kami ngayon, puro kami utang, wala na yung lupa sa amin. Hindi, nasa ano na, nasa iba na. Kasi wala ka na magpagkuha na ng panggastos mo. Aside from higher income, block farming can also increase production by up to 10,500 metric tons. A timely solution, as the SRA estimates that severe El Nino could cost up to 277,500 metric tons of production by mid-2024. That's equivalent to a month and a half supply. Yung sinasabi nila kasing severe El Nino, uh, is forecasted at uh, November to January. Meron ka pang sugar cane kasi nag-growing stage nung November to January. Nai-harvest mo sana sa March. So yun yung matatamaan. Doon tayo magda-drop. There are currently 10,000 hectares out of the 400,000 hectares of sugarcane farms in the country engaged in block farms. The SRA aims to increase this with the additional budget next year. Shaila Francisco, VR1 News.